The story behind the praying hands. You must have seen this picture. But do you know that there is a touching story behind it? Back in the 15th century, in a tiny village near Nuremberg, lived a family with 18 children. In order to feed them their father, a goldsmith worked hard, but still their condition was hopeless. Despite their seemingly hopeless condition, two of the elder children, Albrecht and Albert, had a dream. They both wanted to pursue their talent for art, but they were well aware their father would never be able to send either of them to study at the academy. The boys worked out a plan that they would toss a coin. The loser would go down into the nearby mines and work there, support his brother while he attended the academy. Then when that brother who won the toss completes his studies, he would support the other brother at the academy. They tossed a coin on a Sunday morning after church. Albrecht Durer won the toss and went off to Nuremberg. Albrecht works at the academy excelled than most of his professors, and by the time he graduated, he was beginning to earn considerable fees for his works. When the young artist returned to his village, the Durer family held a festive dinner to celebrate Albrecht's successes. After the meal, Albrecht rose from his honored position at the head of the table said to his brother, And now, Albert, now it is your turn. Now you can go to Nuremberg to pursue your dream, and I will take care of you. All heads turned in eager expectation to the far end of the table where Albert sat. Tears streaming down his pale face, shaking his lowered head from side to side while he sobbed and repeated, over and over, No, 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 it is too late for me. His brother's hard work had terribly damaged the bones of his hands and could barely hold a paintbrush. One day Albrecht went to his brother's room. He found him praying with his hands clasped. He was overwhelmed by the scene so he rushed to his tools and painted those hands. As a tribute to the generous love that does not think of itself, he called his powerful drawing simply hands. But the entire world almost immediately opened their hearts to his great masterpiece and renamed his tribute of love the Praying Hands. Praying Hands is over 500 years old and was only a preliminary drawing by Albrecht Dürer, a supremely gifted and versatile German artist. Of the Renaissance period next time you see a copy of that touching creation, Take a second look. Let it be your reminder that no one, no one ever makes it alone. God bless you. Share your prayer topics with us and we will pray for you.